Geotagging is the process of adding geographical identification metadata to various media such as photographs, videos, websites, or text messages. Sound confusing? It's not, I promise. Imagine taking a photograph with your new iPhone in a place you'd never been before. What if you could mark the precise location of where the photo was taken? If you ever wanted to come back to that precise spot, you'd know exactly where to go. Geotagging usually consists of latitude and longitude coordinates. Some programs can even add things like altitude, distance, and the direction the camera was facing. There are three main ways to geotag a photograph or video clip. The first is the easiest. Some digital cameras come equipped with GPS sensors that automatically add location data to photographs. You may be wondering if you have a camera with a GPS sensor. If you have a smartphone, chances are you do. Most smartphones today have GPS sensors on them that are capable of adding geotags to the photos you take with them. The second, and perhaps the most popular way of adding geotags to a photo, is done through software after a photo has been taken. Most popular photo editing software, like iPhoto or Adobe's Lightroom, allow you to add locations to pictures when you import them from your camera to your computer. Check the instructional guide for your specific software to learn how to do this if you're interested. Finally, popular photo sharing sites like Flickr and Picasa encourage users to tag their photos with things like location, time, or subject matter. This allows photos to be tagged after they've been uploaded to the internet. Be sure to check the privacy settings of whatever online photo sharing site you use to make sure you're only sharing photos to the audience you want. Now that we understand what geotagging is and how it's done, let's take a look at some of the privacy and security issues that can arise from their use. We'll do that in the next episode at www.securitymatters.iu.edu.